All right, so I'm gonna give you my first impressions of the Old Town Guide 119. This is an 11 foot, nine inch canoe. The canoe itself weighs just 49 pounds, but it has a carrying load capacity of 450 pounds. And it has amazing capacity for gear. Uh, it's got a big open gear deck in front of my feet and also a really nice open gear deck behind me. I could easily do an overnight Duluth pack for a seven day trip, 10 day trip. I could have all of my camera gear, and I mean all of my camera gear with me. Um, you can see I've got the, the tripod bracketed uh, up in front, uh, not mounted, just it's just got three legs down, but it's stable as can be. And I've got my digital SLR with a telephoto lens sitting right in front of me, ready for action. On calm water with loons and uh, similar type of photography situations, um, photographing moose, uh, photographing anything on the water, this is the ultimate craft. So from a wildlife photography perspective, I also got the camouflage. It might be overkill, but I've had a blue kayak for years and animals do respond to bright colors. Having a earth tone matte camouflage finish on my uh, Old Town 119 is, uh, that's the way to go. Now I'm paddling upstream in uh, winter melt spring runoff and it's a breeze. This is a beautiful canoe. It handles similar to the Old Town Camper, the 17-footer, but for one person, it's fast, very stable, very smooth. The thing I like about this is that I'm using my Carlisle kayak pedal, and my back is fully supported by a fold-up adjustable seat. Uh, the seat is in a fixed bench position, but the backrest is adjustable. I'm using the older model with the wooden thwarts. It's beautifully light can handle it with one hand, put it up and down off the car. And man, it just, it just absolutely flies on this water. As I'm moving along here, I'm fighting a pretty good current effortlessly. This is a beautiful, beautiful kayak-like canoe experience. It is a kayak experience, but a wildlife photographer's dream because I can carry all my gear, I can move my legs around, I'm very stable, and still low to the water. The sun's going down, so I should think about getting home. And now, for the first time ever, I get to try this thing going downstream. This is the ultimate wildlife photography stealth vehicle. Look at that. That's impressive. Look at the speed I've generated with just a few paddle strokes going downstream. This thing hauls. This uh, cost me just, with tax, just over $600. I give it five out of five stars. 10 out of 10, 4.0 GPA, uh, AP score of five, maple syrup, grading of A. Oh yeah.